Okay, here we have power rule with positive exponents. Our instructions say to simplify, and we've got negative 2xz to the third all raised to the second power. And we want to write our answer without parentheses. So let's look at the details. Here's our original problem. Our first step is to use the power of a product rule. What the heck, what, what's that mean? Well, th that just means that anything inside a parentheses that's raised to a power is also raised to that power. Alright, so there's the words that describe what's going on here in this step. So let's look at it. We've got a negative 2 to the second power. So that's where this comes from. The negative 2 is inside the parentheses. Everything inside the parentheses has to be raised to the second power. So there's the first step. We look at the second part, which is the x. It's x to the first on the inside the parentheses, raised to the second power. We have right here, x raised to the second power. Then the third part inside the parentheses is the z to the third. There's the z to the third, and it's raised to the second power. So what that means is that anything or everything might be a better way to describe it. Everything inside a parentheses that's raised to a power also gets raised to that same power. Okay? That's our first step, step one. Step two, in this case, is to get rid of parentheses. And how do we do that? In this case, it's going to be the, the power of a power rule. So what that means is that we're just going to raise each thing to the appropriate power. So in our first step, we've got negative 2 to the second power. That's negative 2 times negative 2, which gives 4. Next, we've got x to the second power. That just stays as x to the second power. And then lastly, we've got z to the third raised to the second power. Well, remember, that's z to the third times z to the third, which is, if in the long way, z times z times z times z times z times z, that's z to the sixth. And remember, our shortcut is, right up back at the original, is we could just take 2 times 3 to get our 6. That's the power of a power rule. And that gives our final answer, 4x squared z to the sixth. So this is a basic power rule with positive exponents. Let's look at a, a little more challenging example. Here we've got a fraction. All right, no worries. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to take it by steps. First thing we want to do is notice that the whole fraction is inside a parentheses. So this whole fraction gets raised to the fifth power. In other words, each of those little parts inside gets raised to the fifth power. So the this power of a quotient rule, that says we can take this big parentheses and break it up into two small parentheses, the top and the bottom, the numerator and denominator. Okay. Once we do that, then we've got two little mini problems just like the problem we did on the previous example. So we've got 2a inside parentheses all raised to the fifth power. That's the same thing as 2 to the fifth power times a to the fifth power. That's where this numerator comes from. And then the denominator doesn't have everything inside there is raised to the fifth power. So we've got b to the fourth raised to the fifth. Remember, we can take the shortcut. That's just going to be 4 times 5. And then we want to simplify each and every part. So the 2 to the 5th, b 
becomes 32. The a to the fifth stays in a to the fifth. And then b to the fourth raised to the fifth power makes b to the 20th. So that gives our final answer there. So it's really not, it's a lot of steps, but it's not that complex. It's, we're looking at it in tiny baby steps, each little mini problem. OK, one more example just for good measure. Here we've got negative 2a to the third over b to the fourth raised to the fourth power. So the first thing we want to do is write our original problem. All raised to the fourth power. And then let's break it up into a numerator and denominator mini problem. So it's going to be negative 2a to the third, quantity to the fourth, and then b to the fourth, quantity raised to the fourth power. OK, that's our first step. Now, two little mini problems. Let's just deal with the top first. We want to make sure that we raise each of these little parts to the fourth power. So we're going to take negative 2 to the fourth. Then we're going to have a to the third raised to the fourth. OK. Now let's do the same at the, the bottom. We can't really simplify that any further right now. We could get our final answer, but we'll keep it in this same form. <coughs> and now as our last step, we can simplify. Negative 2 to the 4th. That's negative 2 times negative 2, which is 4, positive, times negative 2, which is negative 8, times another negative 2, which is a positive 16. Then a to the third raised to the fourth. Remember, our power rule says we can just multiply these two together. And that becomes a to the twelfth. And then also here, our power rule works the same. b to the fourth raised to the fourth means b to the four times four. So that's going to be a b to the sixteenth as our final answer. Whoops. That's uh, messed up. Get that out of there. And there you have it final answer is 16a to the 12th over b to the 16th.